Hey everybody and welcome to another video from the text view. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove or delete a virus from your computer. Just in case your computer is infected with a virus or just for future references. In this video I'm going to be showing you where you can go and download a couple of programs to remove a virus. The first program I want to talk about is AVG. It's a pretty common program. To go and download that, a uh, pretty easy way is just go to download.com. Alright, once that page is loaded up, what you want to do is you want to scroll down about half half the page and right there where you see the most popular downloads, you want to look, today the number one download is AVG. The two programs that we're going to download from this website is going to be Malwarebytes and AVG Antivirus, the free edition. The free edition does all the work that you needed to do so there's a paid version but the free edition does exactly what you want it to do I already have AVG downloaded so I'm gonna go ahead and, and download Malwarebytes uh, the same steps apply on both of these programs so just click on either AVG or Malwarebytes and when that page loads up just click on download now once you click download now and the next page shows up you wanna watch for this yellow bar up top it may take a few seconds but in case this bar doesn't load up just click on where it says click here to try again but uh, since my bar did load up I'm gonna just click on it and click download file alright whenever I ask you if you want to run run it or save it just go ahead and click save I usually uh, just save everything to my desktop and then once I'm done using that setup file I just move it to wherever to my documents or somewhere else so we'll click on on the desktop I'll just leave the default name then I'll click save okay once uh, the download is complete the exact same this exact same window is going to come up it's going to look similar if you download AVG or if you download uh, Malwarebytes so the same steps apply to both of these programs when you're downloading them and installing them. So just go ahead and click run once the download's complete, and then I'll click run again. Okay, I'll select my language. My language is English. I'll click next. I'll agree to the terms. Next. It's pretty much the same thing as if you're installing AVG or any other program. Just click next. Next. Next, I usually don't put a desktop icon for Malwarebytes on the desktop, so I'll uncheck that and I'll click next and install. I really recommend Malwarebytes, it does a really good job. This free free Malwarebytes is just a scanner, so it scans your computer um, and it finds viruses. Your virus protection is AVG, so you want to make sure you get AVG uh, downloaded. Uh, it doesn't matter if you download it first or second but you want to download it um, AVG because that is your virus protection and you want some kind of virus protection on your computer and then afterwards you can download Malwarebytes which is just going to scan your system whenever you tell it to scan so we'll click finish and it will see if there's any updates for Malwarebytes and once the update is done Malwarebytes will come up alright it says the database was successfully updated okay we'll just click OK and you always want to try to be up to date because every day there's new viruses out there and you want to be up to date with your protection okay I'm gonna just do a brief overlook of this uh, interface I highly recommend that you always perform a full scan if you want to update you just click over here on the update tab and just click check for updates okay yeah that's that's what you want to do just click the full scan and and when you scan it it'll take about depending on your hard drive size anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours if it finds anything you'll get a little box over here that says show results you want to make sure you click show results and then it'll give you a, a list of the results it found and then you want to click on remove uh, infections you want to make sure you you click remove infections because if you don't click remove infections then Malwarebytes isn't going to do anything it just scanned and it told you what it found but you want to make sure you click remove infections okay so that's Malwarebytes 
AVG, I already have it installed here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. AVG is a very common tool that's used. We put it on all the machines that, that I work on. You have your antivirus, your anti-spyware, email scanner. See, it's a good good program. It has a lot of things included and best of all, it's free and it works really good. It runs smooth and runs clean. I prefer this above Norton or McAfee because overall it runs a whole lot smoother than those other programs. So um, whenever you install AVG, it'll ask you what time you wanna you want it to scan your computer. And when I was uh, installing mine, I left it to the default time, which is 12 in the afternoon. So you can you can change that by just selecting the schedule and going to edit scan schedule and update AVG you just click over here to update now and we see that there's some updates here uh, it's showing us all the updates so I'll just go ahead and click update it won't take but a few seconds alright now that my update is is done it's asking if I want to restart my computer now I don't so I'll restart it later so I'll click no um, if you want to do a manual scan that's about it for uh, AVG really simple uh, and the third program that I want you to go ahead and download that I want to recommend is called combo fix I'm just gonna go to Google and search that I think the one you want to go to is the second link the one that says uh, that the link is www.combofix.org click on that it's a very simple page not too many graphics or anything but the tool itself is a really powerful program so over here where it says uh, how to use combo fix you see a download link click on that and it gives you two links where you can download it from either one is fine and the right, you see right there it's saying right click and then click save as so you want what you want to do is just do what it's saying just right click and we you see that it says save, t save as or save target as when it says save target as, it's basically saying just save whatever's at this link, save it as, and then we'll just give it a name. I'm going to save it to my desktop, we'll name it Combo Fix, click save, it's downloading it. Okay, once that is done, uh, I'm not going to hit run on this one because Combo Fix, whenever you run the program, uh, it actually closes all your other programs, so it's going to uh, close the screen capture that I'm running right now. Combo Fix isn't a program that installs on your computer. It just runs. So you can you can put it on a flash drive or a memory stick and run it from there. But as of Malwarebytes and AVG, you have to install those programs and then run them. So I'm going to click close. I have it saved to my desktop. And like I said, once I run these setups, a good idea that I, I would recommend is if you have a CD or you purchase a flash drive, just put these setup files. You want the setup files, the malware by setup files, this combo fix. If you downloaded the AVG, you want the setup file. And just copy them over to your flash drive so that way you won't always have to be downloading them. And if you're working on a computer that doesn't have internet access, you can just plug your flash drive into it and and run the these tools from there and remove any viruses that that computer may have. Uh, just another quick tip, the order that I run these um, tools, I install AVG first and then uh, run a scan with that with it, a manual scan with AVG, then I install Malwarebytes, I run a scan with it, and then lastly I use um, Combo Fix just to clean anything that the other two didn't catch. And that pretty much does the job when it comes to cleaning out, vi uh, cleaning out viruses from your computer. If a computer is really really bad and and even going to safe mode doesn't clean it out the best thing is just to reinstall Windows XP on there or Windows Vista or Windows 7 uh, just to get you a clean start you want to back up all your files, you want to back up all your information all your documents and then just reinstall your operating system and put your files back on there because if Basically, if you have a whole bunch of viruses uh, in your computer, what it does, it chews your operating system up. It just tears it up. And the best thing to do is just reinstall uh, Windows operating system. 